I thought this day would never come. Shooting raw in the iPhone camera app. Welcome. Here's the iPhone 12 Pro with the new Pro Raw feature. Let's turn it on and test it out. Pro Raw has finally shown up in the new iOS 14.3 beta. Turning it on is simple. There's just one setting that we have to go to. Into file output and turning it on. Then when you open up the camera app, you'll see that there's a toggle at the top for RAW. We just tap this and it's toggled on. Keep in mind that it's only gonna save a single RAW file. Some of you might be used to, you know, pixels and Xperia's that can also save JPEGs as well as the RAWs. Here's only a single file for now. I set up a simple scene with some tricky lighting to test it out. We have our subject here, Winnie the Pooh, with some orange light in the background and some colorful candles in the front. So here's the ProRaw image taken with the iPhone 12 Pro. It looks pretty good, but there's a couple of issues here. You'll notice that our subject has some shadow areas and doesn't look very bright overall. You'll also notice that the background looks white even though it was shot with a warm orange light. And this is the iPhone's white balance trying to automatically correct for the lighting. Now both of these issues in the past could not be fixed, but now with ProRaw, they can. ProRaw files use the Adobe DNG format, and I was able to open them up in Lightroom without any issue. So let's make the edits. First, let's start with exposure. And you can see that the exposure on the subject looks pretty even now. So let's move on to white balance. We're going to want to warm it up a little bit. Well, that was pretty easy, right? This looks pretty great now. Here's the before. And here's the after. You can see that we have the clarity and the sharpness that we expect from the iPhone's computational photography, but we also were able to tweak both the exposure and the white balance, like we would with the RAW file. Keep in mind that ProRAW is still being developed, and this is just a first look. I'll be doing future videos and deeper dives as ProRAW gets closer to release. So make sure you're subscribed to see those videos. And I'm also no stranger to shooting RAW with smartphones. Apple is far from the first to support RAW in their camera app, and other phones like the Xperia 1 Mark II already do a fantastic job. I'll be doing future comparisons on how the iPhone holds up. More iPhone and Xperia content to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.